Rock School is a music boot camp for aspiring rock stars. They only have 48 hours to create a professional set. Featuring the mini band, who have already enjoyed international success, will the other bands be able to match their talent? Matt is an aspiring guitarist. He's been playing the guitar for five years and has recently joined the rock school. Before I went to guitar lessons with Leo, I searched him up on YouTube and the first thing that came up was rock school. At the rock school, we get kids together who would like to learn to know what it's like to play in a band together. Uh, the children will turn up on the first day, meet the teachers, meet each other. That's about it, so if you guys want to go to your rooms and kind of start setting up, Matt has been put into a newly created band. They are working towards a big performance in front of family and friends, which is only two days away. Helping them along the way is their tutor, Dan. So going through the roll call, we have uh, Charlie on drums, we have Sam on bass and vocals, we have Matt on guitar and vocals, we have Josh on guitar and we have Jack on guitar as well. <laughs> The tutors is one of the best things about rock school. When you're struggling, there's always someone to turn to and help you. They've had experience in bands and on stage and they know what they're doing. We've only got two days uh, with the kids uh, this time round, so everything that I want to do with them is going to have to be done very fast. You're doing the octave bit on the chorus. Okay. So uh, just for now, just go to the A with everyone. So everyone... What never ceases to amaze me with these kids is, is how much they understand music. We're talking in sounds. We're talking like lunatics. As well as tutoring Matt's band in the morning, Dan also supports a more established group in the afternoon, known as the Mini Band. The Mini Band as a group uh, consists of Harry Essen on lead guitar, Zoe Thompson on lead guitar, Charlie Emmons on drums, Archie Zolotuhin on bass and Harrison Reed on lead vocals. With over 31 million views on YouTube, they set a standard for other bands. The mini band success has been quite phenomenal. It started nearly three years ago when uh, Enter Sandman went viral and just continued on, on from there. And uh, every time we think everything's calming down, it all kicks off again. And them being filmed by the BBC for the series The Slammer recently was uh, showcased how. Uh, they haven't been forgotten, that's for sure. In Harry's case, Story Guitars, who made him his guitar, which was a fantastic thing you know, built for him, um, and his endorsement, they've said to him that next year they'll build him a new one if he keeps improving. You know, so they've got the incentives to keep wanting to move forward. It really is it's down to hard work, but that hard work is not seen by the kids as work, it's seen as play. They just love doing it. You have to get to grips that it's a one in a lifetime chance to be doing this. Really, we think of having two sides of our life. You have Harry Essen as the normal schoolboy, then you have Harry Essen as in the rock star. I think a lot of students do look up for them to the mini band because you know they see the, the, what they've achieved and they see how good they are, how tight they are as a band, and it sounds so professional. And I think that's got to be a good thing for kids because they are actually just kids like them who just love what they do and, and work hard to, to get there and they know that they can achieve the same thing if that's what they do. When I first saw them like at rock school playing on stage, it just sounded great. Harry is just such a great guitarist and when he comes in with his solos they're just amazing and they're just so well done. With half of their rehearsal time gone already, the bands are left with one more day to work on their sets in time for the big show tomorrow. Again, again, who was that? My bad. Lock it, lock it down. So that's, that was my bad because I went in for another chorus. Don't worry, I messed okay, up. So da 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 yeah, da 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 da
there's always a challenge when you come here because they've got their heads full of chords, they've got their heads full of changes, rhythms, lyrics, everything else, and you, you're going, right, you're going to learn this song, and they go, okay, and they learn it, and that's fine, then you go, and you're going to learn this song, and you go, okay, fine, then you go, and you're going to learn this song, and then you're going to go back to the beginning, and then by the time you got to the last, you know, the next song, you go, have I remembered it? That's always a challenge. Just, for now, just go to the A with everyone, so everyone's going to come, come in with the... Whilst Matt's band struggles to remember their sets in the short time they have left, Dan struggles to get the mini-band to concentrate. Right. Stitch up! <laughs> Just do it. Right, second verse. This is one of the things about working with a mini-band. Okay. Harry, 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 come on. Okay. We'll talk We're about, about annoying. Crazy. Look. Right, like second chorus, go! You come on! Second chorus into the solo. Yeah. Right. All the way. Second chorus, yeah? At the end of the minivan's last rehearsal, Dan worries that the group are not prepared enough for tomorrow's performance. Being in front of an audience is, um, is a big thing. If they're performing and they've only had two days and they've got a brand new song, yeah, they should be nervous. I hope they're nervous. I feel that I'm not nervous. I don't think we are really. Because me, um, we've done it so many times and we've done quite a few gigs. So we're used to like big crowds, small crowds, crowds who hate us. <laughs> I don't think that's happened though. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> we will get, um, if it does happen, we'll be prepared for it. It's performance day, and everything the bands have been working towards takes place at the Waterside Youth Centre, where they will showcase their talent to the public. Up first is the mini band. After yesterday's difficulties, will they be able to perform to their high standards? I feel a little bit nervous, but um, yeah, I'm very excited because it's going to be a very good performance, hopefully. After the minivan's success, Matt's group are worried about living up to the rock school's reputation. I'm a bit nervous because if you're not nervous then you're not really a person. Because there's always <laughs> something you're worrying about. Now I Despite all the pre-show nerves, they exceed the rock school's expectations. It, it was amazing. We all enjoyed it and we all started sweating after it. I, I think I speak for everyone here when we say we wish that school was just rock school. Oh, did you ever leave? Oh, yeah, yeah.